Hi and welcome. My name is Rosewood Bitch and I will be leading you through a yoga practice today. We'll begin our practice with some warm-ups and then we'll do some movements, some flows together, really to waken up the energy in our bodies and in our minds. Okay. We'll start with some breath work. And then we'll end with a very simple meditation or a grounding practice. All right, so we will begin with our hands in prayer, Anjali Mudra. Bringing your hands together in front, palms are facing and touching if they can. And your thumb may be pressing against your heart. So feel that connection of the thumb pressing with your heart. Drawing your awareness inward, close your eyes. Take some deep breaths in, inhaling in through the nose. And exhaling, either through the nose or out the mouth. A couple of these inhales, these deep inhales in and out. Notice how the body is feeling. Good. And notice how the mind is feeling as well. If there are any thoughts that arise, just let them go. Allow them to fade. And then bring your mind back to your breath. Take another complete breath, a deep inhale in, and an exhale. Now slowly open your eyes. And now we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna send our hands up to the sky. When they get there, we're gonna open wide, drawing our arm nice and wide, circling them around until we bring them down back to our lap and allow them to just perch. Awesome. And let's do some neck uh, stretches. Okay. So let's lower our right ear towards our right shoulder. Feel the stretch along the opposite side of the neck. Bring your head to center and then lower it to the opposite side. So we're stretching it to the left side this time. And back to the middle, lower your chin down towards your chest or your heart space. And then lift your chin and then gently bring the head back just a tiny bit and gaze up at the ceiling or let's make believe we're looking at the sky. Big blue sky. And then bring the neck back. Let's do some rotations, those circles with our head. So we'll start by lowering the neck towards the right shoulder and then circling it forward and to the other side. And then gently back, gazing up at the clouds and circling it again. We'll do two more circles. Notice what sensations, what stretches you are feeling. If anything doesn't feel right any time that we're doing something, please pause. Bring your head back to center, great. So anytime we're doing something that doesn't feel right, maybe the sensations are too much. I'd like for you to pause. All right, let's, uh, let's continue. Let's do some arm rotations. We're gonna bring our hands to our sides. Fingertips are facing down. Let's wiggle the fingertips a little bit. Awesome. Now we're gonna rotate the palms to face forward. And then we're going to inhale, lifting the palms up to the sky. 
bring your hands into that prayer position and come all the way back down and meet at your heart space. Let's do it again. Let's bring the hands down, wiggle the fingers a little bit, and then inhale, reach all the way up. As you take a deep inhale and then exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Lower the fingertips down, wiggle them, inhale, lift the palms to the sky. Bring the hands together in prayer and bring your hands to your heart space. Good. And now we're going to lower the hands down. Let's warm up the wrists. Let's extend your right hand out, make a fist and circles one two three four five six let's go the other way one two three four five and six lower that hand down extend your left hand out make a fist and circles one two three four five six and the other way one two three four five, six, lower that hand down. Let's extend both hands out. Make a fist with each hand. And now we're gonna lower or um, lower the hands down. So stretching the wrists and then lifting the hands up. So these I call motorcycle rev ups for the wrists. So as if you're revving up a motorcycle and your hands are on the handle of a motorcycle. There we go. And I don't know if you've ever ridden a motorcycle or not, but I guess this is how we would warm up our wrists this way. Awesome. All right, bring your hands down and take notice of how the wrists feel, right? Oftentimes we don't stretch the wrists and we use them a lot with the phone and just daily on um, everything we do. Right. Now let's do our open and close wing warm up. That expands the shoulders and the back of the body and the front of the body. And from here, we're going to bring our arms to a T to begin with, our palms are facing forward. Okay. And we're gonna open back or squeeze back our shoulder blades, bringing our hands behind as far as is comfortable now. Remember, appropriate sensation. And then we're gonna draw the hands forward. Closing those veins, rounding out the spine, pressing the hands towards the front of the room, opening up, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then closing. Pressing forward, rounding out the spine, opening up the wings again, and closing. One more time. opening up those beautiful wings and closing them as if we're flying in the air. And then bring your hands down. We're gonna stack our arms in what I call I Dream of Genie arms. You remember the I Dream of Genie show back in the 70s, one of my favorite shows. So we're gonna stack our elbows, okay? So as comfortable as you can, and then we're going to bring our, we're going to move the arms towards your right. So you're going to just move the arms and maybe your upper body moves a little bit. That's fine. So we're looking to stretch the outer shoulder. Nice stretch along the outer shoulder. Be mindful of the sensation and then move to the other side. So draw the elbows towards the left side. Let's go back the other way. We're going to do this a few times. So move the elbows towards the right side. Right elbow, right side. Left elbow now comes towards the left side. Let's go back and forth, back and forth. Try to keep your elbows up and not down so that you can feel more of the stretch, but if it's too much, you can lower the arms down a little bit. Bring the elbows back now to center. And we'll do some rotations this way. So keeping your arms stacked like I dream of genie arms, you're going to make circles. 
So circle four circles in one direction. And then circle four times the other way. Awesome. And bring your hands down by your side, shake them out. Sitting up nice and tall, just check in to see how you're feeling. So in today's class, we're going to be doing some poses and a flow, a little flow of poses that are put together. Okay. So we did the upper body, so let's just do some leg warm-ups. Let's lift the toes. We'll work on the toes first, or the feet and the ankles, lifting the toes, lowering the toes, lifting the ankles, lowering the ankles. One more time, lift the toes, lower the toes. Lift the ankles and lower the ankles. And now extend the right leg, point the toes towards me, towards the front of the room, and then back towards you. And then lower your leg. Be mindful of how much you extend the leg. Just do what's appropriate and what feels right. Lift up your left leg. Point the toes towards the front of the room and then point them back towards you and lower your leg. Awesome. All right, now let's just do some heel toes, um, heel toeing, toeing our feet out and opening up the uh, hips towards the right. So the knees are going to go to the right. So we're going to do our uh, right leg first. So heel toe, opening up that hip. We'll just do this two times, just to stretch the inner lining of the hip. So if you're leaning back in the chair, if you want to just sit upright to see how that feels, just maybe slightly, you may feel it a little bit more sensation on the hip or maybe on the outer hip. And then walk, heel toe the feet back to the middle or your foot to the middle. Do the same on the other side and open it as far as feels comfortable, but that you're feeling a little bit of a stretch. You want to stretch those tissues, those muscles. Make them nice and strong, and then start heel to toeing that foot back to the center. Great. And we're going to begin our movements. We're going to begin what we call a sun salutation. So I'll do the first one slower. And so you become comfortable and familiar with the movements. And we'll do these a few times. Okay. So we're gonna bring our arms to our side and the palms are facing forward. Let's roll the shoulders up and back and down. Feet are on the ground. Or if your feet don't reach the ground, maybe put them on a block or something to elevate them or find a smaller chair. And you can always pause the video and do that before continuing. Great. So this is called mounting pose. I want you to feel yourself as if you're a strong mountain or maybe even a tree. And take some breaths in and out. Some deep breaths. Fill up your belly. Fill up your lungs. And let that breath go. Feel a nice and sturdy tree or mountain. Feel the strength in your legs and in your back. Feel the connection to the earth. Feel your connection to the universe, to the sky. Now we're going to inhale, we're going to reach our arms all the way up, as far as up, up as you can go. Allow the palms to touch and then draw the palms towards your heart. And then we're going to inhale, we're going to bring the hands up towards the sky, opening up the hands wide, 
drawing them down by your side again, just like we did at the beginning. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up. We call this high prayer. Exhale, lower the hands down to your heart. Inhale, reach your palms up as you open them wide and circle the arms back down. Let's do this one more time. This time we're going to inhale all the way up. Have your palms touch and we're going to bring the hands down and place our hands onto our thighs. Bring your feet or your knees a little bit wider. And then from here, we're going to bring our hands or slide them down our legs and go down as far as is comfortable. We call this a forward fold. Move all the way down and allow your chest to relax or rest on your thighs. And now bring your hands onto the tops of your thighs and just gently lift just a little bit. We call this a halfway lift. So arching the spine, extending the spine, and now slide your hands all the way down. Keep your um, right hand on your foot or on the floor. You're gonna reach I'm sorry, keep your left hand on your foot and on the floor and reach your right hand up and then float it down. So we're doing a little twist and we'll do that with the opposite hand. So the left hand comes up and then back down. And then we're gonna slide our hands all the way up towards our thighs and then reach all the way around, circling big circles until our hands touch overhead and come to our heart. All right, that was your first sun salutation. Great. So we'll continue to do a couple of those until we get used to it and we get a little rhythm. Remember to use your breath. Bring your hands by your side. Feel yourself in that mountain pose or your tree pose. Take an inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale, reach the arms up in your high prayer, palms touch, float the arms or the hands down to your heart. Inhale, reach the palm up to the sky, open big circles. Good. Inhale, reach up. Palms touch, draw the palm in toward your heart space. And then bring your hands to your thighs. Slide your hands down, your legs all the way down. Allow the back to round, resting your chest on your thighs. And then slide your hands up towards your top of your legs. Press your hands in your thighs. Squeeze the shoulder blades and arch the back a little bit opening up the throat, maybe gazing up at your ceiling if it feels good on the back of your neck. Or you can just bring your head forward. Slide your hands back down, keeping your right hand down, lift and rotate with your right arm. And go as high as you can feel that feels comfortable. Lower your right hand down and then Lift your left hand up. Maybe even look at that left hand as you're bringing it up. Bring your right hand or left hand back down and draw the palms all the way up towards the hips and then opening up the arms towards the side of the body all the way up to the sky, palms are touching, bringing the palms to your heart. And then opening up, allowing the palms to float down to the side of your body, 
facing forward, coming back to your mountain pose or your tree. Take a deep inhale in and exhale it out. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up, palms touch, exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, reach your palms up to the sky, opening up, arms spiraling or circling around to the side. And then inhale, bring your arms back up, allow them to touch overhead, bringing the palms down to your heart and then down to your thighs. Sliding the hands down the legs, rounding out the spine, calling this a forward fold. And then inhale, slide the hands to the thigh, top of the thighs, press your hands into the thighs, and then bring your chest forward, arch your back. We call this a half lift. Exhale, come into your forward fold again, Coming all the way down, resting your chest onto your thighs. And then on next inhale, we're going to reach our right arm up. So a nice little twist. And then exhale, lower that arm down. And then inhale, reach the left arm up. And then float the left arm down. On our next inhale, slide the hands all the way up the legs, drawing the palms to the hips, inhaling, coming all the way up, hands in prayer, bring the hands to your heart center, and pause for a moment, take a deep inhale in, exhale out, and then open the arms wide, coming back to your mountain pose. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms, relax the hips and the feet, and relax the mind. Notice what you're feeling. Maybe close the eyes or soften the gaze. Take a deep inhale, exhale it out. Another deep inhale in and exhale it out. Beautiful. And open your eyes if they were closed. Nice. Relax the hands by your side. Shake everything out. All that movement. Good. So those are our sun salutations. All right. So the way we're going to do this warrior pose, we're going to continue to stay seated in our chair. So we're going to take our right leg and we're going to open it like we did with our exercises, our warm-up exercise. And then adjust yourself in the chair if you can. And you can remain, your, your, uh, your left leg can remain facing forward. Okay, So we're only opening up this right hip. So your front body is upright, nice and tall spine. Now from here, we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna bring them out. We're gonna stretch them out like airplane arms. And when your air arms are to the side like airplanes, the palms are facing down. So we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades just a little bit. And then rotate your head towards the right over your right arm. And breathe. Feel like a strong warrior. Take two more complete breaths. So inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in again, and exhale. And now bring your hands back to center, palms touch, and then bring the leg back to the front, bring your hands to your thighs, and check in and pause. So that was warrior two pose. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So with your left leg 
open that hip as wide as is comfortable. Right? So you may feel sensation in the inner hip area. Your left, um, your right leg is facing forward. Your back is upright. When you're ready, inhale, bring the arms up, palms facing down. Relax the shoulders. And rotate the head towards the left side of your left hand. Take a look down your left fingers. Continue to sit upright if you can and breathe. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. And another deep inhale in. Exhale it out. Nice. Bring your hands back to center. Palms touch. Bring that leg back in. Hands on your thighs. Awesome. That's great. All right, let's give our leg a little stretch here. Let's draw the right knee into our chest. Bring your hands on the outside. Squeeze it as if you're giving yourself a hug. Rotate that hip. So rotate three times one way, three times the other. lower down. We'll do the same with the left leg. Draw the knee into the chest, give it a squeeze in, and the circles. You did a lot of work today, it's great. A lot of movement, a lot of stretching. Bring that leg down. Now, we're going to place our hands on our laps. Place your uh, right hand on the bottom with the palm facing up. Place your left hand on top with the palm facing up. So just gently as if you're, somebody's going to put something in your hand, maybe a little flower or something. Right? So just stack the hands on top of each other. Allow the shoulders to relax. Allow the legs to melt. Take a deep inhale in. And as you exhale, let everything go. Close your eyes. And breathe. And I want you to picture a beautiful white light. And this white light is all around you. And this white light makes you feel very good. It makes you feel healthy. So take an inhale and draw some of that beautiful, healthy light into your body. And then you can inhale as much of this healthy light in as you can and as you want because there's so much of it. It goes on forever. It's never ending, healthy, beautiful light. Inhale as much as you can to fill up your entire body. And then when you feel you have filled up your entire body with this beautiful light, just go and just relax and breathe normally. Go about your normal breath. Feel this beautiful energy, this healing and healthy light inside of you. Your mind feels vibrant and healthy. Your thoughts are vibrant and healthy. Your hearing is vibrant and healthy. Your vision is vibrant and healthy. Your lungs are vibrant and healthy. 
your heart is vibrant and healthy. All of your organs are vibrant and healthy. Your bones are vibrant and healthy. Muscles are vibrant and healthy. Your skin is vibrant and healthy. All parts of you are vibrant and healthy. And repeat this phrase after me. I am vibrant and healthy. Let's repeat it again. I am vibrant and healthy. And there's, if there's any time that you're not feeling so vibrant or healthy, remember that phrase and repeat that phrase to yourself. I am vibrant and healthy. And picture this beautiful healing light all around you and inside of you. Let's bring our hands together, palms touching. Bring it to your heart space. Let's be grateful for every day that we have, for all the people in our lives, and for our health. And may we shine our light so bright for all to see. Namaste.